March 3rd, 1876 began as a beautiful day in Olympia Springs in Bath County, Kentucky. As the clock chimed to signal 11 a.m., Mrs. Couch, a local farmer's wife, experienced the unexplainable. As she made soap on her porch, Mrs. Couch began seeing something fall from the sky, but this was unnatural. It was described as looking like meat. She watched into the sky as tons of meat began falling from the sky, hitting the ground with a slap, one after the other. From what she could tell, this strange red meat fell like rain, but only in an area about the size of a football field. As most people do, Mrs. Couch and her husband took this event to be a sign from God. A sign of what? I don't know, but a sign nonetheless. After the Kentucky meat shower had stopped, journalists from the New York Times and the Scientific American came to investigate. While the meat looked to be beef and was first reported as such, apparently two men actually tasted it and claimed the meat to be lamb or deer. The pieces of meat that were recovered from this phenomenon were about two inches by two inches in size, but some were up to double that. A scientist named Brandes took samples of the meat and found it to be a type of cyanobacteria called Gnostic, also known as witch's jelly. Brandes then sent the samples off for further analysis, at the end of which the meat was identified as lung tissue from either a horse or a human infant. At this point, multiple theories were sprouting. First was the original scientist to assess the material, Brandes. He claimed it was Gnostic. In his theory, the jelly-like Gnostic doesn't actually fall from the sky, but looks as if it is when normal rain is falling as well. In order for his theory to be plausible, it needed rain, but there was no rain reported in the area that day. Locals cling on to the theory that the meat was vomited up by buzzards. After buzzards gorge themselves on a meal, they have been known to vomit back up much of it as a defensive method or as a way to escape quickly. So this could have been plausible, especially since the meat recovered looked flattened and dry, giving the appearance that it had suffered from some pressure prior to its fall. Others tend to believe that this meat shower was actually a blood rain. A blood rain is caused by a certain type of algae, which causes it to look like it's raining blood in a, over a small area. There was never a consensus on what the Kentucky meat shower was that day, but interestingly, nine days later, there was another instance of a meat shower that fell, this time over London.